So this question says H equals negative 16 T squared plus V T plus K. The equation above gives the height H in feet of a ball T seconds after it is thrown straight up with an initial speed of V feet per second from a height of K feet, right? So we're just basically given what each variable represents in the, um, in the equation here. So then it says, which of the following gives V in terms of H, T, and K? And we look at the answer choices and we see pretty much all that's happened between the original equation and the answer that we're seeking is that instead of having H equals, right? So we're going from a H equals to a V equals. So in that case, I'm gonna rewrite the original equation. So H equals negative 16 T squared plus v t plus k realizing none of like i'm not trying to solve for anything here i'm just trying to isolate v instead of having h isolated so i'm gonna i'm gonna start doing whatever i can to get v alone so i'm gonna subtract k to start off with that's the easiest thing to deal with so k is now gone so now i have h minus k equals negative 16 t squared plus v T. Now, why is this already helpful? This is already helpful because I see that I should have the difference between H and K. And it looks like choice A and C both have um, the sum of H and K. So I'm already down to a 50-50 on this. Second of all, um, I can add 16T squared to both sides. So then it's gone from here. So I have H minus k plus 16 t squared equals v t and then lastly i can divide by t in order to get v alone here so t's cross out leaving me with the v that i want it and then i have h minus k plus 16 t squared all over t right so that's my my new equation so now do i see that so looking at answer choice b h minus k plus 16 over t so that's very close but i have a 16 t squared right over t so not sure how you just completely remove a t squared from there so i'm going to get rid of b choice d i have h minus k over t and then plus 16 t so that's interesting right because now it's a very different format but let me show you why choice d is actually the correct answer all they did was they took this h minus k and divided it by two and then said i also have a 16 t squared divided by t right so this is the equivalent fraction you can always split up a larger fraction in this way okay and then because i have a t squared and a t in the second fraction the t here would cancel out one of the t's, right? Because t squared is t times t. So cross out one of the t's from there, leaving me with exactly what answer choice D says. H minus k divided by t plus 16t. So that's the best answer. So again, A and C automatically gone, really from the first stage here because we don't have H plus k. And then B, is, as enticing as it looks, you really have to ask yourself, um, how can this end up being that where the t is still here everything is still still there but the t squared just disappears that's that's impossible at least with choice d even if you don't understand how to get from here to there you at least see that something different has happened right we have two separate things there's no divided by t on this side right so maybe there's just something you didn't understand how to do and that's how they got d so d ends up still being a, a more logical answer than choice B, even if you did not know how to exactly get from um, this form of the equation to this form.